The most famous reindeer of all. Charles. Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer had a very shine. Hey everyone, welcome, welcome back to my channel. And hi, if you're new, today's video is going to be my favorite reads of 2022. I hope you guys enjoy, and let's get straight on. Okay, so I have about six books right here. Uh, some of my favorite reads of 2022. I probably will have a couple more once I finish December up. Let's get started. I'm not going to go in any particular order. So the first book I have is, of course, a Colin Hoover book. We have Maybe Someday. This book is about Sydney and Ridge, and I just fell in love with their relationship. There's something about Ridge, like his character, it just made the whole book so much more meaningful. I have never seen this in a book like this, and I just really enjoyed it, and this was probably one of my favorite Colin Hoover books. The next book I have is Punk 57. This book has been my absolute like favorite book for so, so, so long. It's about Misha and Ryan, and basically they were pen pals when they were younger, and they've been pen pals since throughout high school, except Misha stops writing letters to Ryan, and Ryan gets really worried about why he's not sending letters back to her, and she thinks he's gone forever. Or is he? And this just played out so well. There was also a couple plot twists that I didn't anticipate or expect which doesn't usually happen so the fact that this book like was like oh wow that was like a huge plot twist it did that to me it made this book 10 times better and i just love the characters i know some people were a little hesitant or did not like two characters i really like them and i feel like them as the characters just go so well together which is why it's my book the next book i have is also another colin Hoover book <laughs> are we surprised no. Um, it's It starts with Us by Colleen Hoover. I absolutely loved the sequel. The sequel of It Ends With Us. It just was so well done. Um, it Ends With Us, I rated it four stars. The sequel, I did rate five stars. I just feel she portrayed Lily and Atlas in this book so well together. I know some people were a little upset that it didn't just focus on them two, but I honestly didn't mind it. The characters she did have in the book had so much character development and also like the other side characters that she mentioned were so well portrayed. Theo could quite frankly literally be my therapist. He is so relatable but I overall just really enjoy this book. I think Colin Hoover just wrote it beautifully. The next two books I have are actually part of a series, the Off Campus series. We have The Deal by Elle Kennedy. This book is about Hannah and Garrett and there's also I really enjoyed the book. It was very, very well thought out. Yeah. They just fit so well together. I feel like everybody needs a Garrett in their life. So, <laughs> overall, I enjoyed this book. This was one of my first five star reads of the year, I believe. And I quite frankly loved it. The next book is the sequel to the Off Campus series, is The Mistake. This book is about John and Grace, and their characters just fit so well together. You learn a little bit about um, Logan. development is just so well done i absolutely loved it the last book i have is icebreaker this is also another hockey romance both the off campus series books are hockey romances and so is this one i absolutely love this book i can't believe this is hannah grace's first book i'm so excited for her series i absolutely loved it the characters in the book not just anastasia and nate but all the other side characters were just so good. I cannot tell you how many times I've actually laughed out loud in this book. It was just so funny. It's very relatable. I feel that Hannah Grace developed these characters so well. I also loved um, the epilogue in the back, which was really good. It was really fun. I think it just ended perfectly. And I can't wait to see the rest of the books in this series. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Bye!